Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Math Zone African Motives. Uh, we are still on our mathematics grade 11, uh, working on the exponents. Uh, but this is an important part that we just want to talk about uh, that can help us, especially on most of the questions that you're asked to simplify without using a calculator. Yes, at the end of the day, we know that we are going to use our calculator in the simplification of whatever that we are going to have. But what is important is that we can have what we refer to as the exponents that refer to the powers uh, that are rational exponents. Okay, what are rational exponents? That, that is the first thing that you are supposed to ask yourself. What is it that I am referring to as a rational, a rational, a rational number? From our mathematics grade 10, we talked about writing a fraction in the form of a over b where a and b are integers okay that is a b cannot be equal to zero that is a rational so that means if we can be able to simplify whatever exponent maybe we are given 27 uh, that is being raised to the exponent of 2 over 3 like this we are having a rational exponent the exponent is a fraction that is a rational number how do we simplify such? Okay, so I'm having this on a, on a continuum where we are not using a calculator. We could have just uh, applied this direct on our calculator, but I'm talking about on a condition where the calculator is not used. Because we could have just used our calculator 27 to the exponent of 2 over 3 like this. You get a 9. But how do we actually go about this? So that in our simplification later on, we understand what exactly is happening in, in your simplification. All right, this is it. We understand that from our exponents, x to the exponent of a, when being raised to the exponent of b like this, we can raise or we can multiply everything, the exponents a times a times b, okay? So meaning to say this, we can think of, remember always, of writing as a product of prime factors. The prime numbers are the, are the simplest numbers that we can have, prime numbers. So can we write 27 as a prime number? Yes, it's possible. 27 is same as three to the exponent of three. That means 27 can be written in the simplest form as three to the exponent of three. So we are going to have this as 27, which is three, to the exponent of three. But everything that we have is being raised to the exponent of two over three. That's where this law now plays a role to say if there is an exponent and an exponent like this, I can multiply these exponents together. So that means if I'm given an exponent and another exponent, I can multiply these exponents. This will be three to the exponent of three times two over three is the same as over one. So you can cancel this. That will be three to the exponent of two, which gives us a nine. Three times three, that is a nine. So as you can see, this is the same answer that we obtained direct uh, by using our calculator, which is a nine. So you can actually prove that. So these are questions that you'll be asked to simplify without using a calculator. What they want to see are these calculations. If you use a calculator direct, you can be seen that, okay, already you've used a calculator to obtain this. But how do we simplify stage by stage? That is the most important part. Yes, you can use your calculator as a way of proving to see if your answer is actually uh, correct. So this can happen even in terms of negative exponents, uh, whether they are positive exponents or whatever that you are given. Uh, let's say we are given a 64 that is being raised to the exponent of minus one over three like this, okay. So 64 to the exponent of negative one over three. We can think of writing this 64 in simplest form. Can we write this in terms of two? Can we write this in terms of three? Can we write this in terms of which number is the simplest? So we think of two. Yes, you are not allowed to use a calculator, but you can use a calculator to check these numbers. If you are not sure about your numbers, you can just check two to the exponent of a five, we get a 32. Two to the exponent of a six, we get a 64. So it's a trail with the error. You check the numbers, you get an eight. You see that, okay, this is not the one. You move on to the other one until you get what? A 60, a 60, a 64 in that manner, all right? 
But for you to be able to know that you are using a two here, it is because you are used now to these numbers. So I want you to work with your numbers, uh, try to play around your numbers. So that's why I say it's not about a calculator because you might, you might be trying to work three, while at least this cannot be written in terms of three. So for you to be able to know the best to try, you must be able to, to be related to your numbers, okay? Work with more questions. So we saw that this is going to give us two to the exponent of six, but already there's an exponent that we are already given of minus a third. So remember the concept to the exponent of six, to the exponent of minus a third, an exponent and an exponent, I said, you are going to expand this by multiplying. So that's times minus a third like this. All right, so meaning to say we are going to obtain two to the exponent of six times minus a third, that's three into six, which is a two, two times minus, that's a minus two. Uh, if you multiply two and negative one. So from our laws of exponents, remember, if you are raising a number to the exponent of a negative, if we are given x to the exponent of negative n, this is one over x to the exponent of n. So we can remove the negative by writing this as one over two to the exponent of two, which is one over a four, all right? So like I said, all these questions can be proved on your calculator to see if truly you are simplifying this in the right way. So meaning to say we can simplify this as 64 uh, to the exponent of minus one over three like this, which is going to give us one over four, which is exactly the answer that we are having in this manner. So whether it's a fraction that you are given, whether it's a decimal that you are given, the idea is still the same. So you can even be given a fraction, simplify eight over 125, they want you to simplify this without a calculator. Eight over 125 being raised to the exponent of minus two over three. So what is it that we are going to have in this case? Can we write these two numbers in simplest form as uh, prime numbers? Yes, it's possible. Two uh, for eight, it can be two to the exponent of three. So this is two to the exponent of three that we are going to raise to the exponent of negative two over three. So it is the same thing on this 125 because everything is affected by this exponent that we have. So th this is a shortcut that we have. We could, we could have written this, guys, take note, we could have written as two to the exponent of three, the 125, five to the exponent of three. Then everything like this, everything being affected by negative two over three. But everything again is going to be affected. So instead of you doing that, you can just separate this so the 125 in the base of five is same as five to the exponent of three. We raise to the same exponent that is outside, which is two over three. So that is it. So this is just a, a, a play around, like a, a revision for us to, 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 to be geared up as we are moving on with these exponents. We just need to be geared up. All right, so let us simplify this. Uh, we can just multiply uh, some, uh, even though the calculator is not allowed, guys, some of these things you can even multiply, like two, three, and negative two over three. If you multiply three times negative two over three, this is negative two over a three like this. That is going to give us a negative two. So we have got two to the exponent of negative two, over, we do the same thing on this five. So that is going to be three times, okay, it's the same thing here. So you can see it's the same thing. So it is going to be five to the exponent of negative two. So in our simplification, two to the exponent of negative two, you know that this is going to give us one over two to the exponent of two, which is same as one over four. Or like I said, at these stages, you can even use your calculator guys, two to the exponent of a negative two, it gives us one over four. So that means we have got a one over four divided to the five to the exponent of negative two. So we have got uh, five to the exponent of negative two like this, which is going to give us one over uh, 25. So how do we simplify further? If you're, more, if you're dividing, remember, we introduce the multiplication, then invert the second fraction. So that will be 25 over one whereby you can multiply the numerator to the numerator, one times 25, that's a 25, four times a one, that's a four. 
So that is how we can have these guys simplified. So I just wanted you to see how we can uh, play around with our exponents that they can be written in simplest form uh, considering the laws. It's not always that you're supposed to use your calculator. We have got some of the restrictions. We shall, see, we shall see this. As we are doing these questions, as we are revising our questions, we are moving on, we are moving on. You shall see that you shall be restricted at a condition. Yes, your calculator is there to assist you, but the simplification you're supposed to get it in mind, which are the numbers that I can use in simplest form. So we shall have more questions uh, from our past exam papers also to cover up whatever that we have done and make sure that you also join the membership so that you have got access to unlimited videos that we shall have on our mathematics grade 11. So that is we've got unlimited videos there. Uh, joining a membership allows you to have that unlimited, unlimited access uh, to the learning platform uh, of any topic that you are working on as long as part of your syllabus and also answering of question papers uh, together as a family until we meet again.